trailer took a beating, but the two tuck and the Lone Ranger Jeep survived the trip all the way to the Arctic Ocean. Good morning, everybody. It's July 9. Nine days. Oh. It's getting harder to sleep. One of the people we helped with the flat yesterday, and they said that this year was, has been one of the worst years in a long time for mosquitoes. So great that we picked this year. So glad about that. Oh my God. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, somehow secure the solar panel. actually had a, a car wash or just a pressure washer wand that you could use so I washed off the trailer and the Jeep got rid of some of the mud but I didn't take the time to fully clean it it's not worth it because it's just gonna get dirty all over again but we're back on the Dempster on our way up to Tuck we got about a two-hour drive to get there and we will be at the Arctic Ocean Otherwise, you'll be having to pull off on the side of the road and try to find a place to 
So there it is, 2,899.6 miles. <clears throat> to the Arctic Ocean. Woohoo! We made it! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a little bit chilly today and foggy. But we're still getting in. What are they doing? This is called Mertic. It is whale fat. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. 
tastes like tuna. You should taste it. Well, with like sushi. And it, that's that's the way I've had it before. Maca. Well. Right. Mm -hmm. Do the whale fat on me. Yum. Yummy. Yummy. It's unsalted. Unsalted tuna. Yeah. Oh, the only food. <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's kind of like a uh, tuna with a, a little bit of extra fat on it. Fatty tuna. Muck. Tuck. Better known as whale fat. Look. Okay. <laughs> Ocean style. No. Why not? Take all your clothes off and jump in. I don't want to jump in. <laughs> <It's so cold. laughs> Look at those sexy legs. Okay. <laughs> you oh. can do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I am so fluffy. Kitchen had some muck tuck way of blubber. Mmm, good stuff. Our plan is to head back to Inuvik to the Jack Territorial Park and camp there for the night where they have real RV hookups and hot showers. Keyword hot showers. <laughs> and I got my sticker for tuck and we took a dip in the Arctic, at least dipped our toe. Today we got kind of unlucky, yesterday was really hot and nice weather, today is very cool and overcast, so not as great and uh, we're on our way. Hey everybody, we made it back from Tuck down to Inuvik and we are at Jack Territorial Park where we decided to camp for the night. It's kind of like a RV park. They have electrical hookups and hot showers. I <laughs> can't wait. Oh baby. That is the key to staying here. Mosquitoes here are not so bad actually. I'm only down to five bites instead of a hundred. But for now we're making some dinner. Butter and garlic rice, yummy. Mmm. Ruth is chopping up some vegetables to stir fry to go with it. <laughs> we took our mosquito free zone and they have a picnic table, and our mosquito free zone uh, fits nicely over the picnic table. So we set that up just around the picnic table. We have electrical hookups, so I plugged in the trailer. Mm. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dinner time. Look at that. It looks so good. <laughs> and with some wine from so Argentina. Mm. So, as you can tell, the sun is hitting my face pretty good right now. It's actually 9.40 in the evening. The sun won't set tonight. It'll actually be sunny all night long, which has really been messing with our sleep cycle. It makes it uh, extremely difficult to get 
what we think is a good night's rest. Um, even though we have blackout shades for the trailer, it's still so hard to get a sense of when you should be going to sleep, when you should be getting up, you know, when it's literally light 24 hours a day. Uh, and we probably won't get an actual sunset until we get much further south. And <laughs> we've been eating like really late at night because <laughs> it's so hard to tell what time it is. Lose track of days, lose track of time, everything. I don't even know what day of the week it is. So weird.